Allergy season, sneezing, wheezing, scratchy throat and coughing. If you have allergies, you know these annoying symptoms. About 50 million Americans suffer from seasonal allergies. As 2822 News reporter Paula Gian Giacomo learned, the allergy season is longer than in previous years. And she joins us now live with tonight's Paula's Parenting Playbook. Hi guys, according to the CDC's National Health Review, over a quarter of U.S. adults and nearly one in five children suffer from seasonal allergies. If you're one of those allergy sufferers, in addition to reaching for the over-the-counter medications, there are lifestyle changes that can bring relief too. Signs of spring are all around us. Trees reveal their buds and flowers start to bloom. Spring is the start of allergy season. Whenever like everything starts blooming, red itchy eyes, um, sore throat, itchy throat, that kind of stuff. Uh, my face gets really red and I start sneezing a lot and my eyes tear up and get really itchy. Yeah, so that's not fun. No. No. <laughs> it hurts. <clears throat> 11-year-old Benjamin Kosar says his allergies are manageable but annoying, especially when his symptoms get in the way of playing baseball. I remember a few times we would have to leave the middle of the game to go get him allergy medicine so he could continue to play. This past winter was the warmest on record across the U.S. Dr. Simante says fewer days below freezing meant plants and trees were able to bloom much earlier and much longer. Temperature is down, then the trees and the plants will grow faster. And so they get bigger and then the pollen will be much more. The warmer days coupled with increased rainfall is adding up to a longer allergy season. Length of time that allergy season has been has been like 20 days longer and the concentration of pollen is higher. For many allergy sufferers, like Benjamin Kosar, over-the-counter antihistamines and decongestants are effective, but there are other ways to manage seasonal allergies. If the pollen count is high and you know you're allergic to it, then probably not be out as much. And then when you go inside, take a shower and remove your clothes so the pollens that are in you will be there's less chance for you to re be reacting to the pollen as for benjamin we just live with it <laughs> don't we all yeah. well in pennsylvania you'll want to keep an eye on the pollen counts in april may june and september that's when seasonal allergies are at their peak and you can check pollen counts daily at pollen.com i checked today and it's actually medium high 9.5 Four. And of course, other remedies to help relieve allergy symptoms include using an air purifier, changing the HEPA filter in your home, keeping windows closed if it's a high pollen count day, wearing a mask, and of course, consulting with your doctor or allergist about other medications. And you know, mom's response was classic. Moms get it, right? Sometimes dads <laughs> don't. You deal with it. You know, right? Your with life's it. not gonna end. I mean, you gotta do it. Yeah. It's some good advice there. Wow. Sad but true. You just live with it. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. Thanks.